Okay, now we're going to put the backhoe back on the tractor. So, first step, very important. Get your tractor lined up properly. If you don't get it lined up, it's going to be a nightmare. So that's the biggest thing when you're putting your backhoe back on the tractor. Get your tractor lined up properly with the backhoe. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. If you get it lined up properly, it's, it's not that bad. So here we go. Okay, I had to get creative here because I left this part out. So, as you can see here, I've removed the hairpin and the washer from the pin on this arm here. There is the hairpin and the washer. And then, after that, after you remove that, you're just going to pull the large pin here and the arm will fall. There's a turnbuckle arm pull that pin and then turnbuckle arm falls now that turnbuckle arm you're just going to let it swing and both sides you'll remove that and this is what it'll look like First thing you're going to hook up your hydraulics make sure that the switch underneath the the lever that's underneath the red lever that's underneath the seat is in the neutral position that'll make these easy to get on Okay, we got the hydraulic lines on. I want to tell you something. Just remember, you paid for hydraulics, so use the hydraulics to your benefit. You want to hook those up so that you can actually use the outriggers and the backhoe to actually raise the, tr the backhoe up to the level. First, you want to make sure you're in line again. Get your hydraulic lines hooked up. And then you're going to back up. If you got somebody to help you, you want to make sure the first thing you look at is where the subframe goes into the front of the tractor. That's the first thing. Okay, before you are able to use the backhoe, once you hook the hydraulic lines up, there's a lever underneath the seat on the RK25. It has a red tip on it. There's three positions. There's neutral, onto the, if you're sitting on the seat to the right, onto the left, which just takes it in a different direction. For our purposes, we're going to switch it to the right if you're sitting on the tractor. Now, when we start the tractor up, the hydraulics on the backhoe will work.
that's pretty close. We're going to move the tractor back, see how close we are once we get back. have anybody with you this is the primary thing and I'm gonna tell you a little secret you look down through the pedal hole where the pedal is on the brake you can actually see when that actually meets the connection there so that's where I'm looking when I'm by myself Barely off, so I just 
dispute this a little bit because I can scoot that over and it would be perfect. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pull that right into place. So you can see how it came right in place here. This is the backside underneath the tractor. And you can see here where it went right into the cradle there. And the holes line up where you are going to put the pin in. This is it goes in the cradle here. And this is where it's in line. And we will put in the pin here in the next step. Okay, you got your arm here that's uh, hanging free. First thing, make sure it'll go all the way through first. See there? Then you can put this piece on. Okay, you may have to adjust your turnbuckle. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. And it went right on through. That's your washer. In there, hairpin. Okay, one side down. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, everybody. We got everything down below hooked up. Now we can pull everything in. You don't have to get on the tractor. I just want to. and now you have it there's really nothing to it and anyone can do it takes a little time to get used to but i hope that this video will help somebody and if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them below this is the rk25 with the backhoe right now i've got the pallet forks on the front doing some stuff around here so Thank you all for watching here on Gathering Rust Hobby Farm. And we ask that you like, subscribe, share them with your friends. And uh, if you have anything else that you'd like to see, this video was requested. So uh, feel free to leave it in the comments or shoot me a Facebook message or however you choose to communicate. We're always available. 
for new, fresh, fun videos. Thank you very much.